<laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna dive into some brand new foundation and I have a feeling we're gonna be doing this a lot because like 25,000 different foundations recently launched. I feel like you go into any department store, Ulta, Sephora, wherever, and it feels like just this sea of foundation. We have new ones from Natasha Denona. Nude Sticks came out with a tinted moisturizer, a new one from Laura Mercier. We have Fenty, which I'm gonna try out today. This is the hydrating one. I'm so excited because you guys know my gripe with Fenty was that it was a little bit too dry on my combo skin and I didn't like it, but so many people loved it. And I was like, I want in on that. Like, I want it to work for me too. Like, like I love Rihanna, I love so much from Fenty, and I'm excited, fingers crossed, to have a Fenty foundation that I really love. A lot of the Fenty products are like A+. My point is, oh my gosh, like so many foundations, Guerlain, Milk has a twist up stick that is supposed to not crease or crack. Shiseido has a readjusting foundation. I don't know, I was like in bed and I'm like, a foundation that refreshes itself, I mean, I'm kind of into that. So I'm gonna be trying a lot of foundations and then doing a re like hit list top 10 because I've kind of been using the same foundations over and over and over and over again. And that's L'Oreal Beauty Blender, sometimes Laura Mercier, maybe NARS. So it's kind of like I've been doing the same, 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 same. I'm ready for something different. Variety is the spice of life. Class is in session. Shall we begin? Hmm. Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear <laughs> Foundation. Why did that just sound like in Zoolander? How he's like, orange chip mocha frappuccino. Orange mocha frappuccino. That's like my favorite scene and also one of my favorite movies. Okay, this comes in a lot of shades. We all know that's kind of the thing with Fenty. You know, there was Make It Forever doing that and Cover FX, but really this paved the way for a new conversation and I do love that. So there's tons of shades. It says that this is a hydrating long wear foundation that delivers comfortable medium to full coverage in a natural finish that's perfect for normal to dry skin or combo. Oh my God, they're coming for me. I swear it feels like I have an airport in my backyard. Okay, if you have oily skin, you're definitely gonna like the soft matte. If you have anything else and the matte was too heavy on you and too creasy and a little bit crunchy because you have drier skin, then hopefully this will be the answer. I have a few shades to choose from. I do also have the hydrating primer. So I'm excited to try this one out as well. The foundation is infused with grapeseed oil. Massage the tube if needed, okay. <laughs> I love it when instructions say something that literally could have like dot, 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 you idiot. So it says, want fuller coverage? Use another pump. Like it literally, that's what it says. Yeah, if you need more, use more. Let's take a look at the primer and chat about it while I whap it on my face. You guys, James and I just took our very first real vacation out of the country as a couple with no family, friends, no work, none of that. Our honeymoon was literally like three days and we had to come back for work. So we never had that full like week long lounge around type of a thing. And we recently did that and it was so, so nice. We went to Bora Bora and had the best time ever. Where are you going Tati? To the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> to get some tampons because that's my life. Someone got her that's period. <laughs> I go on a tropical magical vacation and I lived in a bikini. I didn't even pack a suitcase. I was so low maintenance and it was so great, but I came back and I was just like, makeup, 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 makeup. And I'm like so excited to do <laughs> my makeup today. It's been a minute, you know? Like when you take a time out from doing your makeup and then you get back in that like mood, it's the best. I love that. I love being in the mood for it. Instead of it being like, sometimes it's like, I wish I had more sleep. It's a chore. Some days it's like, ooh, let's play. And that's kind of how I feel right now. I kind of like set out false lashes and the whole meal deal. So she's getting glam today. And of course we're focusing on the foundation. We're going to do a wear test on that, but 
I'm in the mood. Pro Filter Hydrating Primer is $32. You get one ounce. It really felt like a little bit went a long way. I didn't really need more than two pumps. It has sodium hyaluronate to hydrate your skin, grapeseed oil, which is also in the foundation, fast absorbing. It is, it's very silky and it is fast absorbing. I almost like, you can't really even feel it on the skin. That is kind of wild how quickly it does sink in. This feels Somewhat similar to the Pat McGrath in texture. It sinks in a little bit quicker. Pat McGrath's is silkier. That one actually does give you this hydration and a pore blur. It has that kind of velvet touch. This sinks in, it's kind of tacky too which I like. Okay, I have hope, 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 hope. I am gonna take just a tiny little bit of the mattifying primer and I'm just gonna hit kind of around the nose right here. It's really hot in California right now and I tend to get oily right here and through here. I don't like to use mattifying primers right here because I'm a little bit dry and that can exaggerate it, but somehow I usually get oily there too, which is like, great. I just for that area in between my brows and my forehead, I try to go really light on the makeup altogether so that it doesn't bunch up. If you have that issue, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, my skin's dry, oily, and all things. And it really depends on travel, what time of the month, if I've been in the sun, if I've had enough water, like your skin changes all of the time. And a lot of people are like, oh, I thought you take your halo pills and your skin's perfect. The halo uh, formulation helps in such an incredible way with the reduction of inflammation, has a bunch of nourishing ingredients for you to help you, you know, radiate beauty and health from the inside out. But it's not, you know, gonna replace your moisturizer or good healthy habits. But I will say this, Halo definitely does help balance my skin out. As far as the combo situation, my skin has never been more normal with the routine I have topically with taking Halo. And I'm not perfect, perfect with my diet, but I do eat pretty well. So yay for that. Okay, 50 shades. Let's hope that one of them works out. Ooh, actually, that's pretty great. Oh my gosh, this never happens on the first try. Number 260 is what we're gonna get into, and I'm probably gonna pop these into a giveaway. Yes! I'm gonna wet my beauty blender. While I am dampening, dampening? <laughs> While I am squeezing out the excess moisture on my beauty blender, I want to remind you guys to ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you'll be subscribed. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in and I'm gonna take a couple pumps. We're just gonna go boom, 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 boom. I can already tell it kind of feels moisturizing. Must be that grapeseed oil. Also, you guys, I am really, really twisting James's arm to film his man favorites. The video where he was like, get this over 100,000 likes and I'll do it. If we get 100,000 likes on this video, I'll do an updated man favorites. Like he did not think that you guys would actually <laughs> like the video 100,000 times so that he would have to do it. He's like, I don't have any good favorites. Like it's dumb, I don't wanna do it. And I'm like, you're doing it, like do it. He thinks no one will watch it and he thinks it'll be embarrassing. I think it's great. I think that he should totally sit down and do man favorites. So maybe leave comments of encouragement for him to film it. I want him to film it this week. He has time and I'm just like, oh, please film it, you know? Okay, this is going on really nice. Like I can talk and not even look in a mirror and it is blending in beautifully juicy, so good. Maybe this is why so many companies are coming out with foundation right now is because there's an advancement in technology or something going on because I have never tried more foundations in my life that I have liked so much. I'm like having a hard time choosing which one is my favorite. What a great problem, right? Oh my God. It's 
snap. This is so pretty. I immediately really like it. I'm hoping that it does not oxidize like crazy. I'm hoping it does not move around too much. I am gonna set the face with powder. You guys, this is like the best cream contour in my Maybelline video, which I will link below. I use this cream contour and it looks so gorgeous on the skin. It blends so beautifully. It is my new favorite thing ever to contour the skin. It wears so nicely. It's a little bit intimidating at first. You'll see, you'll be like, whoa, she's ruining her face, you know? But you just kind of got to go with it and then just blend and push it in and it wears so well. Like, oh, it's just, it's so good. And update on that particular foundation. I wore it a couple more times Probably the prettiest foundation I've ever worn ever. One of my favorites. Every time I would look in the mirror, I'd be like, whoa, it doesn't look like I have makeup on, but it looks like I have mannequin perfect, poreless, perfect skin. Such a good makeup day. I did start to see clogged pores and a few breakouts. I'm playing around with it and adjusting it a little bit, trying to see if like, I'm desperate to make it work because it's just such a nice formula, but I think it is the SPF in it. Oh my gosh. Maybelline, take the SPF out of it for those of us that cannot handle it. I love the formula, like in love, but my skin literally hates SPF. This is a really good combo. It actually kind of feels like the Maybelline vibe as far as it being smooth, natural finish, pore blurring, hydrating, not crunchy. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Catrice camouflage, just teeny tiny bit. Kind of focus it right on the inner corner here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of, I almost call it tape tape. I'm gonna take my tape tape and light neutral. Oh my gosh, this thing. I mean, sometimes it looks like a little person, like the little wobbly guy I recently had in a video. Sometimes it looks religious. Concealing, man. Definitely need some powder if you don't want this to look overly dewy because up close I can see that it has more of a dewy, lustrous, juicy finish, which I'm okay with. It's not just that neutral, neither matte nor luminous. It's a little leaning, dewy, luminous. I'm okay with that. It is a bajillion degrees right now, so that could be adding to that kind of a vibe on my face right now, but I wanna powder it, do everything else, eyes, lips, all of that, and then we will take a nice close up and I will wear this all day. So I'm gonna finish up my face and I'll see you in just a moment. I have not worn this much makeup in a hot minute, you guys, and I am loving it. I feel like the face looks super fresh, light, but covered just enough to be able to handle the rest of this makeup being a little bit loud. So I'm really, really loving it so far. The way it looks right now, it's been on my skin for probably 40 minutes or so because I really took my time doing my eyes and lips and all of that. It is so hot here in California, so you may hear my AC in the background. It's like still hot even with it on, so it's a good day to do a wear test. I'm gonna put this through the ringer, do a close-up for you guys, a few check-ins, and we will see where this new Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating long wear foundation lands. All right, you guys, this is my five hour check-in and I really like this foundation. James was complimenting how, what was his word? He's like, this looks dewy on you. And I'm like, oh, like bad or oily? And he's like, no, it just looks really fresh and really nice. So for me, this is more radiant and dewy than what I am personally used to. I wanted to get right in front of a window so you guys can see 
Anytime you have shine on your face, it is going to make your pores a little more visible, but also it just looks better than it being overly dry too. So I like to be right in the center, but all in all, like this is a nice foundation. Oh my God, there's a bee in here. Oh my God, Lord, James, James, James Westbrook. There's a bee in here. I want to save you, but I also don't want you to sting me. I don't know if you're a nice bee or a wasp or what. <sighs> I was doing my check-in and there's a bee. Bye. You can you can deal with this. Where is it? Oh my God, he's gone. Of course it is. Nope, he's right there. Where? He's right there, through there. Right there. I want to show you something. The bee that you're afraid of, he's outside. Oh. He's outside the glass. Damn it. He's on the window. Run wild and free. I just didn't want you in my home. Okay, oh my god. How's my foundation? <laughs> oh my god, there's a bee outside. Stop! <laughs> it, looked, it literally looked like it was on the cloth. It looked like it was right here, and I have been stung by bees, and I just really don't want to. Your foundation looks beautiful. Why, thank you. What do you like the most about it? I think that it looks... Okay, I've got to like give a, a qualifier here. Or a disclaimer. Really? You look very dewy right now, but it's not like you look oily and greasy. You just look healthy and vibrant. I'll take it. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Friends, we meet again in front of the big lights instead of my crappy phone. I will upgrade that. I promise you I'm working on it. I want to do the final check-in now that I have worn this foundation for all of the day. Many, many hours, many activities, a lot of heat, a lot of cleaning, a lot of folding laundry, a lot of playing with the dog. Uh, Puka had to go to the vet and he's wearing a cone and it's actually kind of the funniest cone. I'm gonna insert a picture because it's clear and he can see right through it. So he just like sits there and looks at me like through the cone. I'm getting him tomorrow one of the cushy cones that's more comfortable for him, but he is allergic to fleas. And my dog had a flea that was like bugging him and no one knew what it was. And then he like scratched himself too hard. So anyway, the only thing I did as far as applying more makeup to my face was actually not applying makeup at all. I literally took a brush with nothing on it. If I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel a little bit greasy, a little oily, but I don't have a blotting paper. I don't want to put more makeup on top of all this oil. I will make sure that I just kind of whisk some of the oil away, which really is just blending it back into your face, kind of gross, but it's a great way to refresh the skin without adding another layer of heaviness because if you keep every hour adding more powder, more powder and more powder, you're gonna look like crackly, crumbly cake face by the end of the day, guaranteed. The better way to do it is to kind of refresh your face a little bit with a mist. Don't add anything. Just kind of re-blend if you can, use a blotting sheet if you can, and then re-blend, and then if you must, if you're like going out for dinner and you're like, we need to refresh this, we need to do something more, take a little bit of a mattifying powder around the T-zone, and if your makeup is looking crunchy, bunchy, and just not up to your standard, take a powder foundation and gently put that around the perimeter of the face just to kind of bring everything back to life as far as healing any potential patchiness and unevenness on the skin without having to start all over again. So you're getting like bonus tips with Tati. In other news, what in the hell am I wearing? I'm realizing right now that I dress like I'm going to some teenage slumber party not even actually teenage slumber party. They'd probably be in like cute little outfits and like I'm here literally you guys. Yeah, let me seduce you with my glitter and my scrunchie. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when it gets hot outside, my skin is a little more oily. It's a little more hydrated, dewy, and I tend to need something a little more not so luminous as this foundation. During the winter months, I could see myself getting totally into this because it's comfortable. It makes the pores look nice and smooth. It lasts a pretty long time. It does start to get a little patchy if you touch your face like I do through the day. Like I do a lot of this. Tell me more about your life. And then like I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, my foundation sucks. And it's like, actually, no, you just touch your face a lot. Stop that. So this is a good one for a particular customer. This is not gonna be for everyone 
Oily skin won't like this. Oily combo skin might not like this. If you like full coverage, you won't like this. If you want long, long wear, you won't like this. If any kind of dewiness on the skin bugs you, you won't like this, but you will love this if you like a natural finish. Something that looks radiant without looking greasy for the majority of the wear time. Something that feels light on the skin and smooths out very quickly and evenly and just enhances your complexion. And I think there's so many good things about this for the right customer. And that's where we're gonna leave this. I'm gonna have that mega hit list for you guys very soon, every single day I'm trying new products, new foundations, keeping score and showing you all that I can about all the different mediums from cushion to stick to liquid to full coverage to natural. I'm going to try it all. So uh, yeah, wish me luck and you'll be seeing that video in the near future. So stay subscribed, be subscribed, ring the bell. I'm going to go cuddle with Puka and I send you guys so much love. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know, do you like this? Did you like this foundation? I think it's really pretty, just for the right person. I said that 12 times already. Cool, I'm out of here, I love you. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.